Hey guys, it's Caitlin and I wanted to film a different sort of video today and give you all my five tips on how to make exercising easier. I get a lot of questions about my exercise routine on Instagram and for tips for people who are just starting out on exercising. So I thought I would sum it all up in a quick video. My first tip is to find something you love. Exercise is different for everyone and some people love certain things while some people hate certain things. For example, with team sports, a lot of people like that or exercise classes, some people prefer to lift weights, some people prefer to just do cardio. At the end of the day, as long as you're moving your body and doing something you love, that's what really matters. But keep in mind that what you like can change over time too. For example, I personally really love um, high intensity interval training and cardio circuits, but I've also recently been getting into lifting weights more, but I still like to incorporate hit routines as well. But for example, I really don't like running and the idea of running for more than 45 minutes honestly sounds incredibly boring to me. But there are people who run marathons and they love it and they're in great shape too. Depending on your exercise goals, um, the type of exercise you do is going to help you get to that goal faster or slower. But personally, I think it's more worth it to just do something you love because really it's about the journey, not the destination. My second tip is to stick to a routine, and this is especially important if you're new to exercise or just trying to get used to it. For me, I like to exercise in the morning versus at night because I like to start out my day with moving my body and I feel like it really wakes me up and gives me more energy. But for example, this semester I have a lot of early classes, so I can't do it exactly in the morning, but I just do it as soon as I can after my class ends. But if you have a regular exercise time or a regular exercise routine, it's going to become a habit faster and it'll be part of your life instead of like an extra chore that you have to do to be like, oh, I have already allocated this time to exercise, so I might as well just do it. Also, if you're new to exercise, it does take a while to form a habit. It can, I think scientifically, it's anywhere between three weeks and two months. So if you're new to exercise and you're just starting out, I would just say stick with it. And I remember when I first started exercising, I didn't really enjoy it very much and it was kind of a chore. And now I honestly love it. And when I don't exercise, I feel really antsy and it's just really good release of natural endorphins too. My third tip is to find good music. Um, exercising is definitely a lot easier when you have something with a good beat and something that wants to make you move. I've forgotten my iPod a few times when I go to the gym and it was definitely a lot harder. However, buying music can be expensive and I don't really like listening to radio because sometimes I don't like the songs or the ads can be annoying, but I'm also a broke college student. So I get all of my music from an online website. It's called steadymixes.com. I'll link it in the description of this video. I think it's actually really helpful because they publish a lot of new mixes frequently and all of their mixes are an hour long and completely free to download and they go at a steady pace, which I think is the most helpful part because especially if you're doing cardio or if you're doing something to the beat of a song, you might have a faster song or a slower song, but this keeps the beat constant throughout your whole workout. And I also like how I don't have to skip through a lot of songs to find a song that I like and I can just listen to a mashup for the whole time. They publish a new uh, mix every month for the top radio songs, which I think is really interesting and it helps keep me up to date with the current trends. But they also publish mashups of single artists or they also have throwbacks to 80s music or 90s rap. So I really think there's something for everyone on the website and I think it's awesome that it's free and more people should definitely know about it. My fourth tip is to set small goals, and I don't mean in the sense as don't push yourself when you're working out, but set more small attainable goals than goals that are going to take you several months to reach. For example, um, when I first was working towards getting a headstand, my first goal was just to be able to rest my feet against a wall for 30 seconds. And every time that I did it, I tried to get one or two seconds more and build up. And then eventually I got to a minute and I was like, okay, so now my next goal is going to be two minutes. And it feels a lot better when you have small attainable goals and you're able to reach those, but then also keep your long distance goals in mind. My fifth tip, which is the last, but definitely not the least, and it's don't compare yourself to other people. There's a cliche saying that goes something like, don't compare your chapter one to someone else's chapter 20. But that also applies to your chapter 20 and someone else's chapter 57. 
everyone is on their own exercise journey, if you will, and people are going to progress in different ways. So there's really no point in looking at the girl on the elliptical next to you and see what speed she's going at, because what does it matter? The only person you should be comparing yourself to is yourself. And if it helps to take progress photos, uh, you can do that. Or you can just set physical goals, such as being able to lift a heavier weight the next time you go to the gym. I think girls can get too obsessed with comparing their body to someone else's body. And your body is never going to look like that. It's a completely different person. Don't shoot for this unattainable six pack and think you're going to get it in six months. Because one, your body may never look like that, just the way you're genetically designed. And two, it's a lot more important to love yourself in the moment because exercise shouldn't be a chore. Like I said, it should be a fun experience or something that you enjoy doing. And yeah, that's it. I hope all of these tips were a little helpful to at least some of you. And if you want me to post more videos like this, let me know in the comments. I hope you all have had a great day so far and continue to have a fabulous rest of your day. And I will see you in my next video.